It seems as though all tech YouTubers use these iFixit kits, well, the bigger ones, for all of their builds. Although it seems as though most of them are sponsored by iFixit, so what I decided to do is buy my own kit and see whether or not they're actually worth it. And another caveat that I want to add to this video before we get into it is I'm looking at this purely from the perspective of a PC builder, not in the regards of like phone repair and things like that, which honestly it seems like these are better suited to. Now before we actually unbox this product, like the video for the best tech chair ever. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so over here we have the Essential Electronics Kit. So this is the smaller one from the Pro Kit. But honestly, I feel that everything they add in the Pro Kit uh, doesn't really add any value for a PC builder. It's just more jimmying stuff. And honestly, I don't think that's worth it. Although it does have the anti-static wristband thing. Um, so that may be useful to some of you. So if you look at the actual front of the box, it gives you a nice indication of everything that comes in it. And on the back, it gives you a more detailed breakdown of what all the things are and the sizes of the actual precision screwdriver bits that it comes with inside side and then you kind of like slide this bit out and you've got this cool looking kind of sleeve covering the actual iFixit case now this is something that I really like about the iFixit case it's got this kind of like hard plastic case with magnets that attach it and then in here you've got the kind of like this is how you take the tools out thing and then on the back it tells you that you can get the kit guide online and it's got one of these silicon pads okay so one of the cool things about this lid is inside it's got these little trays so that you can kind of like group screws together, which is really useful. And that's actually something that you can buy a separate magnetized mat uh, from iFixit, which does that a bit better, but it's cool that they included with the kit. And another thing is you can actually attach the lid to the bottom as well so that you store it uh, although it doesn't quite line up properly and it, it feels like it's not kind of built very well in that regard okay so let's have a look at the actual tools that you get with the kit i'm going to start from the right and move left over here we've got um, so this is a little kind of like jimmy tool that you can use to pop off a screen in a phone it's not the most well-made thing ever. It, it's got quite a bit of flex to it, but it is nicely rubberized and it feels, it feels decent. It looks quite nice. I really like the blue branding on the black. And then over here, we've got another kind of like stick in and pop out tool. And then over here, there's just more ways to kind of like dig out little, little cables and things in cell phones. Again, as a PC builder, you're not gonna have much use for that. And then over here, we've got a suction cup, which again, in my 10 years of building PCs, I've never needed to use a suction cup. But if you need to remove a screen from a phone, I can imagine that's quite useful. And then over here, you've got six of these little, little puck things, which it, it looks a bit like a really big guitar pick, but you can use that also to like get under things and pop it out. And then over here, you've got another squeeze and popper thing. Now it says on here that this tool is actually designed to break before your device does. So if you stick it in somewhere and push up, the tool will break before it actually damages your device, which is quite cool, but again, not useful for a PC builder. Here is the first thing that I think is fairly useful and it's needle nose pliers, I think you'd call these. And it, this happens to me all the time. I drop screws in a case and this will make it nice and easy to pull out. Although this is used to kind of lift cables and things that plug um, like the battery into a cell phone. So again, this is quite useful for a phone, only semi useful for a PC builder. And then you're left with just the screwdriver, which, you know, if you're paying 20 odd dollars for a kit where pretty much only the screwdriver is useful, as far as a PC builder, the value doesn't really make sense for me there, but we'll get into that a bit later. So this screwdriver is fairly decent. It's rubberized and then it's got kind of like a rotating tip on the back. So if you hold it like this and screw, it's not much effort. So it's like a torque screw. It, 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 it feels like it would work quite well. And then over here, you've got a selection of bits. Now of all of these screw bits, this one, the kind of like a bigger Phillips head one is pretty much the only one I think I'd use as a PC builder. I know that these kind of like, um, all of these screws have a place when it comes to phone repair. But again, as a PC builder, pretty much, you're pretty much sorted with a Phillips head. 
And that kind of brings me to one of my issues with this kit is you're paying a lot of money for pretty packaging, nice branding on things, and a lot of tools that if you're only building PCs, don't seem to be that worth it. So let me know in the comment section below which of these tools you think you'd use in a PC build. And remember, again, I'm talking specifically about PC builds here. To sum things up, at the risk of losing any future iFixit like sponsorship deals, I really don't think these toolkits are worth it for a PC builder. I think if you're the type of person that, that builds a PC maybe once every two years and occasionally takes your PC apart to clean it, I think you're better off buying a proper Torx screwdriver for like $10 off of Amazon because you'll get a better actual screwdriver than this one. And I think that's way more important for the PC building experience than having a Jiminy kit and a lot of these plastic guitar picky things. I just don't think it's worth it. So honestly, if you repair phones and things like that, a lot of this stuff is gonna be useful. But if you're just a PC builder, all of this stuff, you're, you're just gonna be paying for the packaging at this point. And with that, it brings me to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I have an Instagram and a Twitter account. So if you want more updates around the channel, do follow those. Subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to see more videos like this one. And until the next one, bye-bye.